Our weapons expert, Alex, has arranged a meeting with a guy who has a really cool antique wheel lock gun. I'm going to see what the story is, and Alex is going to join us a little later. I'm assuming you're Craig? Yes. Corey, Corey. how are you doing? Hey, it's nice to meet you. So this is it, huh? This is it. So this is the wheel lock. Um, I, I'll i tell you right now, I have never seen one this nice before. Got to be at least, what, 400 years old? Yes. What do you know about it? Where'd you get it? It's a good question. I, uh, I'm a collector, but this is my oldest piece by far, and I inherited it. Um, and it was handed through the generations to me. What are you trying to get out of it? I'm looking for 50K. 50,000? 50, 50,000. Son going to college. He's going to Harvard or something? <laughs> <laughs> no, but but uh, it's, it's up there. OK, I mean, that's definitely a possibility when it comes to something like this. Alex should be here in a few minutes. Uh, there's a lot more questions that I have about this than I thought I would. Uh, there he is, right hey, guys? Right in the nick of time. <laughs> you must be Craig. I am. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Thank you for coming. Oh, wow. <laughs> uh, wheel lock carbines are actually exceptionally rare. Um, do you mind if I pick no, up? No, not at all. Oh. Man, this is stunning. <laughs> Is that bone inside there? Yeah, so all of this would be staghorn. I'm just getting excited from it. <laughs> this is a wheel lock. Um, it's, it's typically a, a German-made firearm dating from about uh, the 1600s, early 1600s, maybe late 1500s. The wheel lock came after the match lock in firearms history, but before the flint lock. So you put the flint down on top of the wheel. When you pull the trigger, the wheel spins, creates a spark, and ignites the powder inside the barrel or the chamber, creates an explosion, and the projectile comes out that way. I've never seen anything like it before, but he's asking $50,000. Wheel locks have sold for that much. Do you think it would actually fire? I would have to do a little bit of testing on it, but based on looking at it, yeah, it should actually function. So where do we go from here, basically? Well, Craig, if you're open to firing it, what I suggest is that we go to the range and we'll give it a shot and see how it goes. I am OK with that. I'm nervous. <laughs> <laughs> Very too. nervous, but, but yes, let's do it. OK, great. So I'm going to do a little research, and uh, I'll let you know we're ready. Appreciate it. All right. And Thank don't you. worry. Uh, It'll be fine. I, I won't fire it if it's not fine. All right. Man, you just couldn't wait to get your hands on this thing, huh? Let's go off. Yeah, buddy. Yeah, this is special. I love this wheel lock. So did you have some time to research this? I did, and I have some pretty good news. So this is from a series of known wheel lock carbines that were made specifically for one man's personal guard. And that man was Wolf Dietrich von Rathenau, who was the Prince Archbishop of Salzburg between 1587 and 1612. And he had a personal guard of 36 men, and all of them had this carbine. It's 420 plus years old. The only other known examples that I can find, they're all behind glass in museums. They're incredibly rare and they are very valuable. So basically, this is the only one that's not in a museum that still exists? As far as I know, yes. And you still want 50 grand for it? Absolutely. Now, if everything works out and this thing shoots and all that, what do you think it could be worth? Let's see if it actually shoots, because if it if it functions properly, then I'll feel good about giving it a value. All right, what's up with your uh, little weird emoji targets there? So they are emoji targets, but they're like devil targets. And I thought that was really fitting for a firearm that was designed to protect a Prince Archbishop. Because I think they do look really evil. Like they need to be stopped. Here we go. Are we ready? Your reaction, I think, was better than the gun actually firing. What do you think it's worth now? So based on its age, the way in which it's designed, the decoration of it, I think it's $40,000. All right, man. Well, uh, I'll tell you what. I'll give you a call, and I'll let you know if I end up picking it up. Thank you so much. Thank you for letting me do it. I, I, I loved it. Thank you. Good luck. Thank you. So I've been doing this a long time, man, and you got one of the coolest guns that has ever came into the pawn shop or anything like that. What 
You know I can't pay you for you for it. I got to make some money. What are you thinking? Um, would you go 35? Not as easily as I could do 30. <laughs> OK. I, uh, I would go 32 files. Meet you in the middle. You know what? I'm not going to. I'm not going to lose it over that. We'll do 32 by All right, we're going to Jill. Um, I'll tell you what. I'll wire you the money. I'm going to go find Alex and package this up, OK? Sweet.